Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a handwritten scribble effect in After Effects. And I tried to do this effect in Final Cut Pro 10, but I just found no way on how to do it. So I just decided to do it in After Effects. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys what this will look like. But I'm going to go ahead and push play and tell me if you guys like it or not in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you guys right now. But if I continue, you're going to see that as we go frame by frame, you can see that these little cool little shapes or drawing or scribble little lines kind of outline his body or you could, you know, have it outline whatever it is. Okay. And then it just goes up and it, and it kind of goes down. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So it's very simple. What I did is I just went on to any video. You can use any video you guys really want. But I think this really looks cool on, um, you know, rap and hip hop uh, music videos. But uh, I decided to get this one, his latest video. And to do this, it's really simple. So I'm going to go ahead and just start from fresh if I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this and delete that as well. And I'm going to drag this on here, assuming this is your video, of course. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of skip to the part where I want to start it. So this right here is where it's going to render everything in this little window here. So we have this right here. It's kind of zooming in and then it zooms out. So I'm just going to use this a little bit. And to cut the video, it's very simple. Just press Command Shift D on a Mac or Control Shift D if you're on a PC. Select the same one. I think it's this one and command shift D to uh, select that as well. Now, of course, you do want the top and the bottom videos just for reference, just in case you decide that you want to use more of it. You could always do that. So we have this right here. Now we want to go ahead and make sure that we have the panels open, the brushes and the paint. If you don't have that, just go to the top, go to window and then go to paint and make sure that the brushes is also uh, enabled and currently they are they're right here on the right side now keep in mind that I am using After Effects CC but this should also work on older versions of After Effects but go on to brushes and you have a bunch of brushes that you can choose I just go for number three and I like personally number four just because it's in between four and five of course you can always experiment double click on the video and it will take you into this kind of makes it so it brings it into the layer uh, document so you could do whatever you want. So again, try out the brushes, see which one is best for you. Three looks really nice, but personally I like four. And we go on to paint and then right here you want to go on to the channels, change that to RGBA and the duration you want to change that to single frame. So every time we move a frame, the drawing or whatever we do just stays for that one frame. And uh, we can do that for each single frame. Now if we go on to constant, which is probably what you're going to have already, then that will just keep it so it just goes on forever, even if you add another frame. So we want to make sure that this is on single frame and that's all you have to do. Now right here is where you can change the color if you want. So if you're working with a brighter uh, video, you want to go ahead and make sure that's set to black or whatever color you want, but make sure it's dark. But if you're working with a darker video, you'll want to use a high contrasted color. In this case, I'm just using white for this example. So I just chose white right here. And then what you want to go ahead and do is just use the command plus or control plus. And uh, you want to go ahead and just kind of zoom into, you know, a decent area wherever you want here, I guess. And make sure that you're at the beginning right here or wherever you want it to start. Okay, so we have this right here, right? So what we want to do is I want the little line or whatever we're going to be doing, little scribble to kind of crawl up his leg and around his jacket. And then I want one starting from here and kind of go down and then click and just, you know, just start drawing like that. So right here looks good. And then I can't really tell where it is, but I'm just going to make my guess and kind of go here. And then that's two already. So that's fine. And then I'm going to have one kind of from his head kind of go down. Or maybe if you if you want to undo it, just press Command Z or Control Z. So it's kind of go down like that, and then maybe another one like this. So now, in order to kind of switch in between frames, press Command and then the left arrows on your keyboard, or Control and then the left and right arrows, and this will allow you to move to the last frame or the previous frame and the next frame. Right here is where it starts. This is where we where, where we drew it, okay? So we go from there and then right here I'm going to go up a little bit. 
So I'm kind of switching its spots, right? And then this is the, the one we're working with. So then from here, we want the other one that was right here. We want this one to go up a little bit. If I can do this correctly, like that. So now it kind of looks like it's moving upwards, and that's what we want. I also forgot to tell you guys that there are 24 frames in a second. So you're going to be doing this quite a bit, but trust me, in the end, it's going to be all worth it. Trust me, it actually looks really, really cool. So right here is where, we, where it kind of starts. So I'm going to move down a little bit, just like that. So now it looks like it's moving frame by frame. And then right here, I'm going to go down a little bit more from his shoulder kind of going down if I can do this correctly okay from there and then we want to do that again I like to work from left to right so right there and then I'm gonna do one right here and then this one I'm gonna kind of go like that so it looks so so far this is what it looks like it looks really nice of course want to do this frame by frame so now it was right here so I'm gonna move this down just like that so hopefully this is making sense okay so right now, this is the frame we're working with. This is the last one, or the previous one, I guess. So the last one was around his shoulder, so I'm gonna move this one kind of like that. So this is what it should look like if you've done it correctly, if you've been using the shortcuts you know, to move in between the last frame, the previous frame, and the next frame. So if you use command and then the left arrow keys or the right arrow keys, that will go in between frames. So this is what we got so far. So that's just something very basic that you can do, of course, it just goes around his body just like that. I mean, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful in any way, please feel free to leave a like, that'll be freaking awesome. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down what you guys want to see next, or if you have any After Effects tutorial uh, video ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.